Guys, today is not a great day because I have to ship away my AK. But first, I gotta do something I really hate doing with a perfectly good working gun. I gotta unload it. Now you may be wondering why I had to unload that gun. Well, it's because of this guy right here. Dead Air Sandman S. Um, I'm not too happy, honestly. Been happy with how the, the silencer's been working. Works just fine. Definitely makes the gun quieter. But, um, I've been having some issues. If you take a look at my D5AK after action report, I was having a little bit of issues within it. Um, the Dead Air Sandman on the end of my Occam ODS 1775 SBR was coming loose after a couple dozen rounds. And, uh... I was like, all right, well, let's, let's take it off the gun, finish the class, reach out to both companies, and just take it from there. Well, I, I did that. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm sad to say, and I don't know if you guys know this, because I don't know if this is public knowledge, but um, I'm pretty sure whoever runs the quality control over at Dead Air um, was actually on that submersible that went down in the Titanic. I mean, I, that's my guess. Working a couple of theories, but uh, that really can be the only reason why uh, they have gone radio silent. Two weeks ago, 14 days, I, uh, I reached out to them, said, hey, I was having some troubles. They immediately came back to me and said, hey, send us photos. Took a bunch of photos of all the lugs, the locking areas of my can, uh, the muzzle device, everything. Sent it back to them. I was like, okay. Maybe they're on it. This could be good. A couple days go by, shoot them another email. like, hey guys, did you get everything? Do, do you need anything else? Can I help? Nothing. Okay, waited another week. Reached out again. Hey guys, did anybody get my information? Do you guys need anything else? Nothing. Let's just say there has been nothing but dead air from dead air. I don't know where the fuck they are. They're not responding. As a matter of fact, I've gone online onto the old Reddit subreddits. Saw a bunch of people having the same thing. Oh, customer service doesn't seem to be replying to anything anymore. QC seems to be having some troubles. Now, I'm not making, you know, any claims or anything, but uh, those are trends that I'm seeing. So, this is just a quick update to kind of give you guys a heads up of the journey that I'm going through here. And, uh, you know, trying to ex figure out what's going on with this guy. And, uh, you know, I hope they get back to me. Because, like, I understand if things go wrong. Sometimes things fall out of tolerances. Sometimes it things just break. Sometimes weird shit happens. But what is not usually forgivable in my book is not standing by your product. So we'll see if they do that. Um, on a side note... You know who really stands by their product? Occam Defense Solutions. These guys right here are amazing. I reached out to Brian um, when I was having the issue, called me back, shot me emails, had his staff emailing with me, asking me what's going on, what what was you know the issues that I was experiencing, um, and he's been on the phone with me every couple days since then, letting me know what's happening on his end, what he's trying to fi figure out. And, uh, I hope I'm not revealing too much here, but, uh, he's, like, I'm actually unloading this gun so I can ship it off to Brian, so that he can personally bring it to one of his contacts at Dead Air. And, uh, basically say, what the fuck's going on here, guys? So, my hope is to help him any way that I can. Uh, not so much for me, but for everyone else out there who might be having issues with Dead Air at the moment, they, uh... They seem to have kind of fallen off the face of the earth or sunk into the bottom of a deep trench. I don't know. But uh, let's hope that we don't keep hearing nothing but silence from dead air. That would be nice.